Okay, hi guys. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, hammerhead sharks. Uh, take into consideration the audience, we had a lot of pictures to attack the attention span of fourth and fifth grade students. The audience was chosen because um, we thought it would be more pro slightly appropriate for a bigger audience to find uh, sharks very interesting. The bright colors cho we chose uh, made them um, seem interested in the information that we were going to give them. And lastly, we chose to talk about specifically hammerhead, ha hammerhead sharks being um, science students. Um, we study science every day and a lot of the ocean is yet not explored, which made, made of our focus oceans and we, wanting to be more specifically, we started researching about sharks, finding out that there are many specific um, hammerhead sharks which made us want us to find out more, which made us make our presentation about hammerhead shark, sharks. And now I'm going to give my the mic to Mitzi, and she's going to talk about, start talking about sharks. Okay, good morning everyone. So I'm just going to explain how the website specifically works. I'm sorry for my raspy voice. So this is our homepage, basically getting some facts of the hammerhead sharks, how they're the easiest sharks to identify. Am I missing something I can't see? Nope, you're doing fine. Someone was having computer audio problems, but everyone else is fine. Okay. <clears throat> So for the basic facts, I just wanted to explain how the shark, hammerhead sharks are the easiest to identify. There's nine known species with five different shapes of heads. Um, the different shape of heads allow for the ability to find specific prey, support balance, and what they use their white heads to, how they use their white heads to pin stingrays to the seafloor. Um, we decided to add basic anatomy of the hammerhead shark and on this side we um, listed the nine species of hammerheads and if you if you click on the shark icon it will take you to a specific shark giving you some more information on it some distinguishing characteristics um, picture of them and the shape of their head um, this icon will take you back to the home page. Each page is a little different. The ones that we could find more information on are similar with the distinguished characteristics, some facts, a picture, and their shape of their head. For the sharks that we couldn't find much detail on, we did decide to like add YouTube videos, going into more details of how they look, and here I decided to add some animation just in case they didn't know what a mallet shape was. And Jacob will be going more into detail of each species. And I, we also did decide to test your own knowledge on the basic anatomy of the shark by downloading this file. Kids are able to... Um, um, either print or draw out this diagram and test their knowledge. And Jacob will be going into detail about each of the species. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Um, so, uh, uh, great hammerhead. Uh, the great hammerhead shark is the largest of all the hammerheads, and it's the one that we like most commonly think of when we think of a hammerhead. Uh, they can be found up to like 300 meters deep, but they also, but they prefer to be in shallower water where they can hunt. Uh, they can be found all across the world in coastal waters as long as they're 65 degrees and above. Like many of the hammerhead sharks, the um, their top of their bodies a dark brown or dark olive uh, color. These uh, these are apex predators because of their size. So they have serrated teeth like other species of sharks that uh, with many rows of them 
that grow back. So they would prey on things like stingrays that they pin down with their head or uh, crustaceans or cephalopods. They prefer to uh, hunt on the bottom of the ocean because their head allows them to um, sense prey that uh, under the sand and under rocks. We go to the next one. So you just go back to the home page and then you can keep interacting with the website. So then next we have a scalloped hammerhead, which is very similar to the uh, great what the, uh, the great hammerhead, except for its head shape is slightly more uh, slightly less flat with its eyes located completely on the side of the head. And then it has a big indentation where it's like where its nose would be. Uh, again, they use their scalp shaped head to detect hidden prey, and they they swim with the greater hammerheads in shallower waters, and then move offshore actually at night to hunt. Again, the brownish gray body and uh, brownish gray or olive dark skin is how they're identified. Go back to the home page. We have the smooth hammerhead which is, you can see on the left, has a very flat uh, flat head, longer head, with again, the eyes located on the sides. This is the second largest of the hammerhead species. Um, and it's really easy to identify because it's missing a mid-dorsal ridge. So unlike the other two that we talked about, this one does not have a mid-dorsal ridge. But it has very similar colors with the dark olive and uh, the white underside. And then if we go back, next one's the wing head. Uh, the wing head is actually one of the oldest of uh, the hammerheads, I believe. Uh, its head's much longer, being almost half the size of its uh, body length. Uh, they, it has long nostrils to help better identify. This is a much smaller of the hammerheads, so it needs to feed on, uh, it doesn't feed on stingrays like the other ones does. It, it has to find crabs and stuff like that that hide under the sand. If we go back to the home page, uh, the bond head. Bonnet head is very different than all the other shapes that we've looked at so far. As you can see, their eyes wrap around to the side and they don't have nearly as a flat of a hammer head. That's why they're bonnet heads. Um, their eyes are located on the side for increased vision, giving almost a binocular type vision to see longer distances. Um, and when they're actually swimming, their heads roll from side to side to uh, for greater visibility in the water. And then they have much smaller teeth than the other hammerheads uh, to break through crustaceans' shells. And then the next one is the scalloped bonnet head. Uh, this one is uh, one of the rarer species and one of the new, more newly identified ones. It's uh, very similar to the next one we're going to talk about, the scoop head shark. But this uh, this shark, its head's actually long or wider than the uh, than the scoop head. And these ones live inshores at depths of 100 meters or less. And then next we have that scoop head that I was just uh, speaking about. Again, this is another smaller species of hammerheads. Uh, on the left, we we show the bonnet head in on the bottom, and then above that is the scoop head. So you can see how similar they actually are to each other. These uh these sharks have very sm uh, short snouts, but again, like most hammerhead species, they share that same grayish gray brownish color on top and the white under. And then uh, next we have. Small eye hammerhead, which is uh, is very different from all the other species uh, because of the brackish water it lives in. So 
Obviously, it's the small eye hammerhead because it has very small eyes to be able to see in dark water. And uh, they have a deep indentation in their head. And then the thing that sticks out a lot with them is they're a bright gold color in the water. So unlike the grayish color that all the other ones are, this one is actually bright gold. And then lastly, we have uh, a really cool one, the Carolina hammerhead. This hammerhead was actually just founded in 2013 uh, off the South Carolina coast. They, uh, they actually believed it to be just another scale up hammerhead until just recently. And if you click on the view more, button, it actually takes you to a video about on YouTube. That I don't think we're gonna watch, but if you wanna go in yourself, there's a bunch of cool videos through here. Uh, that just goes into depth of how they found it, why like they had didn't find it in the past, and things of that nature. So yeah, this is our website. Uh, you can go in, interact with it, take the test yourself, uh, go look at all those cool videos. And does anyone have any questions?